Here comes 29-year-old Jeremy Keister. He's driven an hour and 40 minutes to get here. Casey, our decoy, waves him in. He pulled up. His lights turned off, so I figured he was getting out. Hey, Jeremy! And then his lights turned back on, so I wasn't sure if he was going to leave or not. And then he came around the corner. He sets his car alarm and then heads straight for the side door. How was your drive? It was all right. Oh, that's good. That's pretty far you came, huh? Yeah, it was. Online, using his own name as his screen name, Jeremy Keister makes a date for sex with a girl he thinks is 13. He clearly admits he knows what he's doing is wrong. So you want to have sex? Yeah. You? Only if you do. Yeah. I do not force that. You don't seem like you would. It's wrong enough for me to have sex with a 13-year-old. He was nervous that something was going on because when he walked in the house, he walked in and froze. He stood there. He wouldn't go any further. I made you some brownies. You want some? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Why not? No. I don't think I should be here. Why? But I'm, no one's home with me. What's that? Jeremy, could you come over here for a minute? I'd like to talk to you, please. Can you do me a favor. Take your hands out of your pockets for me. Sure. Come on over and have a seat. Had a long ride, huh? Yes, it was. Please sit down. What was your plan tonight? Nothing, just to hang out. Hang out with who? Uh, just a nice girl. And how old is that nice girl? She's uh, 13. 29 year old Keister tells me he's a luxury car salesman. Then, as I start to read some of his chat log, he suddenly interrupts me. Too bad you're not older. Not legal for being with a guy. Mm hmm. You don't have to tell me. I know who you are. So you know who I am? Yes. Who am I? You should be Chris Hansen. I am. So you've seen the show before? I have seen your show. So even after seeing the show, you still chose to come over here? I did. I mean, I. And what were you expecting here tonight? No, we really just chat and... Did you think at all that maybe you're walking into a to catch a predator investigation? I was very hesitant on things, yes. But he didn't seem hesitant when he was chatting online with a girl posing as a 13-year-old. You asked her if she had sex with her old boyfriend. Did it hurt? Mm hmm Did you bleed? Mm hmm mm hmm What is your bra size? Mm hmm while Keister has been answering questions inside, we get word that another man is only blocks away. Red Nissan Frontier pickup truck heading north to our location. Casey gets ready to wave him in. He's 43-year-old Michael Murray. Online, he sent naked pictures of himself to a girl posing as a 13-year-old. Later, he asks the decoy if she wants to have sex with him, but he wants it to be her decision. Fred gives the okay, come let him in. Hey! He had his McDonald's bag. He was all excited. Came walking in. Hey, why don't you come in over here? We're having a little conversation. Please join us. What did I do wrong? Just come here. We'll chat for a minute. Come on in. Uh, I'm leaving. I... I'd like to talk to you. About what? About a couple things. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. I didn't know what was going on. Well, why don't you explain that to me? Nothing. After the 43-year-old makes a quick exit, Police arrest him and try to keep him quiet. But Murray cannot seem to stop crying. <laughs> Shh, keep quiet. I can't. I gotta get the truck back. Back inside, Keister knows what has just happened outside and is getting worried. I know it's in store for me outside that door. Correct? Well, that's not up to me. Well, I've seen the show. You, you know, obviously, who I am. I do. Chris Hansen, mm -hmm. Dateline NBC. I do. As Keister prepares to leave, he seems to find one thing good about his predicament. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> he gets up and heads out the door, right into the arms of police waiting outside. Police, get down! 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 Get